Hello, Kulas. Welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca, where we are going to be discussing on the latest on FC Barcelona as usual. We are going to start with this report claiming that Barcelona are sacking trio Memphis Depay, Martin Redwaite, and Luke De Jong are on the verge of exit in the summer. This is according to a report from reliable Spanish journalist Tony Juan Marti. We are going to be discussing much on that as we move ahead. Secondly, talking about Cesar Aspilicueta. It has been reported that Barcelona are to negotiate with Chelsea for the Chelsea captain soon. We are going to be discussing much on that. Then lastly, talking about Sergio Roberto, it has been reported that two Premier League clubs are currently interested in signing the Barcelona outcast. Which two clubs are these? We are going to be discussing on that as well. So guys, as we get right into it, please do well to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barcelona have a full string of forwards at their disposal, meaning that the futures of Memphis Depay and Martin Bradway solely hinge on the fact that whether or not Barcelona will acquire a new forward in the summer, the chances of which are incredibly high. The duo, having scored 12 goals and 3 assists between them in La Liga, are unlikely to replace any of the current first team regulars and will more or less be the squad players even if they decide to stay put. On the other hand, a certain look the young Sternio is most likely to conclude by the end of the season too. However, according to journalist Tony Juan Marti, even if the pie and bread red leave, there is a tiny chance that the young could continue beyond the current campaign. The Netherlands international, who has scored some crucial goals for Barca this season, including two match-winning strikes against Levante and Mallorca, is on a season-long loan from Sevilla. Despite the recent upsurge in form, any possibility of him, you know, continuing is next to impossible since it will be difficult for Barcelona to accommodate him if a new striker arrives. As for Memphis, he has been presented with two opportunities. If he wishes to fight for a place in the Netherlands World Cup squad by starting every game, he can leave Camp Nou before his contract ends in 2023. However, if he wants to still don the royal blue of Blaugrana, he must accept the fact that he will be a squad player who will only be called upon in the hour of need. Meanwhile, for Bradway, it is certain that Xavi does not really count on a 30-year-old. Against Frankfurt in the first leg, the team missed the pie and the young through injuries, and Bradway still couldn't get a chance to play. This pretty much sums up what destiny holds for the Danish international. Like the pie, if he tends to represent his country in Qatar, a move away in the summer would be beneficial for everyone involved. Looking at these three players, Memphis Depay, Brad Wade, Luke De Jong, in all fairness, they don't stand a chance next season. You know, if Barcelona go about their transfer business as they plan to go about, then these three players will lose a lot of prominence in this team. You know, Luke De Jong, yes, he has been scoring some crucial goals. Is winning the hearts of many Barcelona fans lately, including myself. But the truth is, he does not stand a chance next season. When Xavi have arranged his squad, we have gone to the market, we buy the players that we want to buy. There's no chance. You know, even now, Luke de Jong finds it hard to get minutes. Of course, Xavi knows when to put him. And of course, Xavi, when Xavi puts him in those, those dying embers of the game, he comes and delivers as usual. But that does not rule out the fact that he will likely leave. Of course, he's from Sevilla. Even though we, we heard some reports yesterday that Barca are still contemplating if they'll extend his loan spell or they'll, they'll, let, him, they'll let him leave. But of course, there, there's a higher possibility that Luke de Jong departs Barcelona at the end of this season. Memphis Depay as well has a mix a mixed season. Of course, under Coman, he had a lot of game time. He was, he was the protagonist of this team. But when Xavi came, Memphis Zapai was even injured at that time. When he came back, unfortunately for him, Obama Young was already there banging the goals. And there's no chance. I understand Xavi why. There's no way Xavi will even trust Memphis Zapai over, over um, Obama Young. And that is a very huge blow to, 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 to Memphis Zapai. Of course, talking about their World Cup ambitions. World Cup starts in November and ends in December. These players want to play the World Cup. They want to be caught very fast in the World Cup and they will need a lot of game time 
and that could push for a move away. So Memphis' future is very uncertain at this very point in time. Then talk less of Martin Bradway, that's it's even the worst because Javi have no like Javi does not even show that he's interested in this guy. And honestly speaking, it's not like he's a very bad player. We have been seeing how you know Martin Bradway plays when Coleman was there, the energy he put, he have hard work. I mean he has spirit. He knows that he's not that fit to play for a team of Barcelona statue, but you can see that hard work in him. But Javi does not care about that. So it is very likely that he leave Barcelona come June. Then on to the next story of discussion. A recent report from Marca has offered an update on Barcelona's hunt for a right back. Nusser Mazrai remains a priority option for Xavi as he has been highly successful during his time at Ajax and is tactically flexible enough to thrive at Barcelona. However, the hopes of Mazrai's potential move to Camp Nou are dwindling due to Bayern Munich's involvement. The Bavarians are prepared to offer the right back a lucrative deal and the two parties have been even reportedly agreed on personal terms. In light of the uncertainty surrounding Mazrai's pursuit, Barcelona have retained its interest in Cesar Aspilicueta. The Chelsea defender is in the club's number one out alternative for Mazrai, despite the fair share of complications associated with his pursuit. With a total of 466 competitive appearances for Chelsea, the Barca board rated the defender very highly due to his experience at the highest level of football. But whether or not the Spaniard arrived at the Camp Nou this summer remains to be seen. As for Loqueta's current deal at Stamford Bridge was expected to expire at the end of the season, but the Blues have hinted at a potential extension clause that has automatically been triggered after the player appeared in 30 matches. The veteran has already featured in 37 matches in all competitions this term, meaning his contract won't expire until the end of next season. However, that hasn't deterred a Barcelona side that have refused to retract the two-year contract offer for Aspi Loqueta. The defender himself has the desire to join the Camp Nou next season, but he will respect Chelsea's final decision. Barcelona believe they can still convince the Blues to sell, um, especially given the fact that the club will be under new management from next season. Then on to the final story of discussion. After suffering yet another long injury layoff, Sergio Roberto is closing in on his return to fitness, with many expecting him to resume by the end of April. While Roberto makes his recovery, the Barcelona board led by Jody Cruyff and sporting director Matteo Alemani had held a meeting with the player's agent restarting talks over a potential renewal. Roberto's current deal at the Camp Nou expires at the end of the season. Thanks to injuries and lack of form, the midfielder has fallen behind the likes of Gavi, Frankie de Jong and Pedri in the pecking order. Atletico Madrid, two mid-table Premier League clubs and a historic Italian club have shown interest in his signing and the player is not opposed to leaving La Liga. But that hasn't deterred Xavi from expressing his interest to keep the Spaniard. The Barcelona head coach rates the player highly due to his vast experience at the highest level of football. However, according to a report from La Vanguardia, the Barcelona board has not reached any agreement with Roberto Santurash in the meeting held on Tuesday. The objective of the meeting, though, wasn't to hold talks over the exact terms of the new deal but to rather improve relations between the two parties after talks had broken down you know, back in September. Both the parties have agreed to continue talks and have scheduled a meeting for next Tuesday. Barcelona for Japan have remained true you know, to their initial demands, asking Roberto to take a hefty pay cut in order to continue at the Camp Nou. The Spaniards' representative haven't shown much enthusiasm in agreeing to such terms, but their case hasn't been made stronger by the player's injury record and lack of prominence in the first team. There are no shortage of alternatives for Sergio Roberto though, with the midfielder always having the option to leave the club amid interest from Atletico Madrid, Real Betis and Sevilla. So colors, with that we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe if you haven't please endeavor to do so. Until next time, bye bye.